A delegation of Labor rank and file have come to Parliament to pressure the Albanese government to call for a permanent ceasefire in Gaza. They claim their voices are being ignored by the Prime Minister. On a gloomy day, a delegation of Labor members come to Canberra. They say the politicians who represent them here have ignored the impacts of the bombs raining down on Gaza. We want you to see our side. We want you to see how many people have died. They're much more than the 1,400 Israelis that died. What's the exchange rate? Is it 1,000 to 1? The 15 Labor rank-and-file group from Western Sydney met with Ministers Jason Clare and Linda Burney, backbenchers Anne Stanley and Andrew Charlton. We are disappointed with our Labor politicians, yes, and we have told them that. On Monday, the Prime Minister and the Foreign Minister met the families of some Israeli hostages and those killed on October 7. This delegation wants that same access. There is a definite and clear distingu distinguishing, uh, distinction between the two groups in Australian politics, which is both unfair and um, really upsetting to our communities. We're not saying don't see them, but see us. We're saying see both. The Foreign Minister is so far resisting pressure from Labor's left flank to call for a permanent end to the conflict, a position that would see Australia at odds with our biggest security partner, the United States. Instead, a spokesperson for Penny Wong says Australia wants to see continued steps towards a sustainable ceasefire, but it cannot be one-sided. Steps to take to an immediate, to a permanent ceasefire are not sufficient to deter the humanitarian, deteriorating humanitarian condition that is currently occurring in Gaza and the West Bank. Divisions within Labor growing as the broader union movement adds its voice to the ceasefire call. Trudy McIntosh, Sky News, Canberra.